Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. We got a shipment today, and I know it's been, what, a couple, maybe a week since we posted a video. We've just been very, very busy with the whole wholesale, and there's a couple of things going on with Lisa. She's not feeling very good lately. And we got a shipment yesterday from China. I'm gonna start over here, and then I got something huge on that tank that I wanna show you guys. But we got these Australian lobsters again. Only a few of them came in. Okay, great size on these guys, as you can see. My uh, hands are like 12 inches, so um, these guys are 12 inches. Junior, that one is, is not moving. You, you don't have to film that one. <laughs> but uh, this guy, I'm not sure yet if we're gonna keep him or if we're gonna sell it. But look at this size. It kind of looks like me a little bit. Look at it. Beautiful, 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 huge golden Chinese wells he's not albino he's got black eyes but he's definitely golden look at the size of this thing it's like it's thicker than majority of people's arms huge mouth beautiful face he's got busted a little bit from from being in the in the shipping bag for too long rubbing because he's a huge fish I mean this guy's got to be like close to three feet uh, so we're gonna put him here, treat him, make sure he's eating before we figure out if we're gonna put him in a big tank or if we're gonna end up selling him. But something this big, it's like just to just to think about that this fish came all the way from Asia to LA, from LA to Florida is like it's amazing to think about. Awesome, awesome fish. Um, we also got we haven't even had a chance, guys, to take the fish out and put it away. So I'm just gonna show you real quick what we have here, and then we're gonna put them in the tanks and show them in the tanks. But, you know what, Junior? Why don't we, why don't we take a break and then put the fish away and then show, uh, uh, that's what we're gonna do, that's what we're gonna do. No, the, the camera's over here, there you go. <laughs> yeah, where's the Lisa, man? I got another one here, bro. Uh, Look, they hide so good in this tank. Let's go ahead and put them in. So guys, these are Chinese perch. We have a bunch of babies. There's a couple of them in the bottom that are still breeding. So we don't want to stress them out and try to pull them out. Let them see how many of them heal up. It's funny because a lot of them were in the bottom and then they start acclimating and going to the top on the surface. So I'm going to take you guys along and show you everything that we got. I just want to make sure that I don't have any, any more here. This is a little hard to see. Oh, there's another one right here. Oh crap, there's two in them. Gotta have good eyes, bro. Look at this. And a minnow. Let's take that little minnow and put it in there with them and see if they're gonna eat. Check it out, Junior. See if they're gonna eat the minnow. Oh, gone already. Look. Yeah. Right there. You see it? Yeah. Wow. These guys, they don't play. Whatever goes in there, they can fit in their mouth. Even stuff that cannot fit in their mouth. A lot of times, we're trying to figure out how to import them. The best case scenario. I hate showing this, but I'm going to show you guys so you can see what we go through. Look at this. They interlock between themselves. Like, they try to eat each other. Look. So, a lot of times, you import them, and the whole bag will come in like this, and they'll be dead. Because we don't know what it is. Obviously, you have to uh, starve them before shipping so they don't poop in a bag. But we got to try to figure out another way so they don't do that and we lose the whole shipment. So out of like 200, we lost about 15. That's not bad. Still sucks that we lost a life, but the majority of them are alive. So I'm going to show you guys everything that we got in the shipment. Um, wow. What is that? The machine is on. Right here. We got chain pickerel. There's some really 
they are very skinny. Uh, again, they don't feed them for a couple of days before shipment, but they're perfect size for a fish tank. This guy's about five, max six inches. To the left there, Junior, is, uh, what do you say there was, Jingus? Really pretty fish, about five, six inches as well. Over here is one of my favorites. A lot of people don't know about this fish. They, they're called bamboozas. They get really, really big, really cool fish. They kind of look like a, a barracuda, a freshwater barracuda. And they do have awesome teeth as well. So they can grab onto their prey and eat really good. Is that one dead one in there? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, let's use it for, uh, to feed the gulpers at least so it doesn't go to waste. So we show those guys. What else? Uh, oh, look at these. Really cool. I don't even know if you call them lemon Oscars because they do have yellow of them, but they're very white. They have a nice white collar and a very bright yellow. I don't know if you can see it through the camera. Really pretty fish. These guys are big. They're about six to seven inches already. Down here, we have short body Calberries. And we did get a lot of Jardinis in. Some of them have really, really nice colors, like pretty. Even Junior was like, what are these, platinum? We have this huge golden Severum over here. Gotta erase that. Uh, let's see. We didn't put anything. Oh, dude, look, we have smaller bamboozas. We had to separate the sizes so the bigger ones wouldn't need them. But there's another bigger one yeah, here. Man. Let me get them out. Come on, buddy. Leave the children alone. All right, let me put him over here. Yeah, he's not moving. So I'm going to take this guy. Since he didn't make it, let's go ahead and feed the gulpers. Just so the fish doesn't go to waste. Ready? I'm gonna try hand feeding one of them. Let's go over here. Oh, you bastard. Almost. He took it and then he spit it out. Let's see. Hold on, let me get it back. Let's try the other tank. I can't see, oh, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Good? I can't see anything, look at me. Got it? Yeah. Took it? You know it's really funny too? We had over a hundred of, of gopers in one tank. And what I noticed too, they have spikes at the end of their fins. So a lot of times you see like little white dots on the fish and it's from them poking each other. So we got those. I'm, should I leave this for less? I'll leave this guy for less. Let's go over here. We have these white parrots with orange markings. Really, really cool. Not many of them available, but like there's some really pretty ones like this guy. Looks like he's got a mask on or oh, glasses on the eyes. Pretty cool. Um, we had this tropical gar come for a friend of mine. He's already sold. The orange gar is not for sale. Of course not, you know, can't sell that. But we do have, if you like orange or yellow, look at these guys. They're called tiger parrots. Really neat. They also have like different markings. Every single one of them is different. They're not tattooed, they're born like that. So, you know, if you're thinking, oh, how did that happen? I don't know, they're, they're a bred this way, so they're not gonna lose their color. But it's really funny, like, look at that guy. Look, he's perfect stripe on his body. We also got brand new albino arrows. They're about five inches already. Uh, every time, they come in perfect condition. I have no problems whatsoever. The whole bag came in alive and they're already eating. We're gonna feed them later today. We got more Jardinis there, albino iridescent sharks, regular iridescent shark. And look at this monster. I am still 
and disbelief of how big this animal is. Like, it's hard for you guys to see it to the camera, but he's got to be, I know what, I want to take a measuring tape. Let me go get a measuring tape. I'll be right back. Okay, I don't have my uh, measuring tape, but I'm going to use Lisa's. Hopefully she won't find out. I'm going to have to stick. Maybe I won't even stick it in the water. Let's see. From here to here, it's three feet. Okay. That fish, he's right there. He's a good 35 inches. So an inch, I would say an inch to, eight to two inches short of three feet. That's awesome. Can you just, just to think about that this fish went from China to L.A., from L.A. to Florida. I mean, he's got a little banged up, but his mouth is a little red. The bottom of his fins were, were even more red. But it's amazing to think that something this big was able to make it. So on the comments below, guys, let me know. Should we keep this monster and grow him out, put him in a big tank? Should we sell him? If we keep, what should we name him? All right, let me know in the comments below. We already show everything here. Let's see. We also got these guys. They were long fin wild caught Oscars. They look different than a tiger Oscar. They have more of like a yellowish pattern than orange. Uh, but they're all, every single one of them has long fins, which is pretty cool. What else? More Jardinis. That's a Jardini there. Every single one of them came in really nice. But again, as you know, Jardinis, you cannot put them together, so we had to separate them all. Oh, we got more of these lobsters. They came in really cool. Look at that one back there. These are Australian lobsters or freshwater crayfish, but they look more like a lobster than a crayfish to me. Awesome fish. We didn't have many of them, only a few. Uh, I think we did have a couple of lobsters. And these guys. Now, I think this is probably the whitest Oscars that I've seen. What do you think? Same thing? Yeah. Uh, they do have red eyes, so they're kind of an albino, but more like a platinum color. Really, really weird. Uh, and they're short body or semi short body as well so really nice look you can see the difference between that giardini even though it's really light right look at the eyeball black look at the eyeball on the oscars red pretty cool we only have a handful of them so i'll definitely make sure i'll put it on the website for you guys um so we can get it ready for shipping next week these are already Treated, acclimated, ready to go. I just want to make sure they're feeding. I mean, they're eating. Yeah, they're feeding. Are they going to feed themselves? And uh, make sure they're eating before we can ship out. So after this video, we're going to try to feed everybody. We got more Jardini over there. Really pretty fish. And we also have these Chinese perch that bigger. They're bigger than the, the smaller ones. These guys are already a good six inches. Look, Junior, look at this. Look how weird this shape is. You see it? Yeah. It has a big hump. I like that guy. <laughs> Definitely not normal uh, from the other ones. Yeah, he's already got his collars out. Look at this Jardini too. There's so many Jardini. Look at this one. Really bright. Some of them got darker as they acclimated and some of them stay brighter. So I don't know, it might just be the fish itself. There's a couple, there's one guy here I say smaller, but they're still a pretty big fish. Uh, this tank is about 18, 22 inches. So every single one of them, that guy got to be like two feet already. Yep. And then there's another one right here. Really cool fish, man. And, you know, these came in as golden, but I think their eyes are red, too. Yeah, red, you see right yeah. through the eyes, right? So they might be albino. Their eyes are not black, so that's pretty cool. Now look look at this, just as a comparison, ready? Look at the size of this fish, look at the size of the eyeballs. Look at the size of these little guys, and look at the size of their <laughs> eyeballs, right? It's funny how some fish rely on their vision to hunt and eat, and others don't. You know, like catfish, they use their whiskers to find their food. But these little cichlids, the eyeballs are so big. You know, it's probably like, to one to eat to find food but also to see the predators coming to attack them so that's pretty cool this bullfin is really green you see the, the the green color on it 
Maybe it's the light. I don't know. But it looks really green. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, let's let's do the last one. Sorry. We only got two of these guys because they were very expensive to bring. That was only super box. Look at the size of these peacocks. They just arrived. The yellow color is already popping up. These are what, Junior Jingus? Really, really pretty fish. There's two of them. And they're big. These guys are probably like 14, 15 inches. Can you get this yellow right here? All right on my face. Look at it. That's awesome. I think eventually the whole fish is going to turn out pretty gold. It's amazing to even think that these guys came all the way from Asia and they're doing great. Got one. one is prettier than the other for you? Yeah, I think they're both nice. I just, I don't think I've ever seen a peacock like that. Like, that's kind of like the gold guard, so yellow. Really cool. Besides that, guys, we have a shipment coming in from Peru next week. A shipment coming in from Brazil. A shipment coming in from Colombia. And we're working on a shipment from India. So we do have a lot of stuff coming in. If you're a store and you want our wholesale list, just email us at livefish at predatoryfans.com. And we'll definitely get the list out to you. Um, there's not much to it. We have a lot of fish in stock that we're bringing in for wholesale and retail. So guys, I'm also going to have these fish on the website for you. I promise I'll do my best to get everybody up and ready for next week. All right? If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. So send us an email, text, phone call, and uh, we'll promise as well. Oh, there's a fish down there. I promise as well that we're going to do more videos for you. Promise. Pink promise. See you guys next time.